Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you guys? How are you tonight? I'm doing good. Excellent. What happened today? I'm good. Um, I started. <laughs> you started? Did you study today? Yeah. Good. Okay. Show me. Show me what you have started. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. Okay, guys. Show me what you got. Say hello to your classmates. What's up? <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's Friday. It's Friday and it's our last class. Then we come back until until August 9th. Exactly. Friday, everybody knows. Excellent, Juan. <laughs> yes. So we are 11 now. Let's just wait a few minutes. Come on, guys. Say hello to your classmates. Show me your manners. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi, Sabrina. <laughs> Have you been up to? Hello? Have you been up to? I'm sorry, I have a problem with my internet. What have it's, you been up to? What have yeah. you been up to? It's breaking, okay. yeah, it's breaking up. A little bit, mm -hmm. uh, Serena. What have you been up to? Hmm. Oh my God, this is gonna be a very interesting class. You know what? Let's start. I'm gonna check the attendance really quick, okay? Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespin. Elvin Arcides de Guizabal Martinez. Present. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Present. Thank you. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Jose Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Janet. Oh, thank you. Carla Janet Amaya Herrera. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdez. Oh. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Present teacher. Excelente, Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda, Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Okay. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Excelente. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Johnny, Johnny, no Johnny today, okay. Jose Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia, Jose Ángel Martínez Hernández, Juan Marcos Guzmán. Present teacher. Good. Okay, so what's in today? I'm here, Claudia. Sorry. Claudia Maricera. Yes, I'm here. Thank you. Okay, guys, so 
Where were we? Where were we? We were talking about superlative. Superlatives. Okay. Tell me, what is the greatest in El Salvador? Select that. <laughs> okay. Um, the selecta is for, for beach. The oh wait, how do you say that? Selecta beach. I know. Mm. Team selecta. Team mm. beach. <laughs> the Soccer beach. Beach. El Salvador has the best, the best, the best soccer beach in in the world. Could be. No. Let's use superlatives. Let's use superlatives. What is the best in El Salvador? The most beautiful. The, most is the best. Ah, come on. Be more specific. Be more specific, Jocelyn. Which pupusas? Mm -hmm. Any. <laughs> any? No, not any. For example, my neighbor. My neighbor is doing pupusas. No. Thank you. Uh -huh. oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you can say something like "oloquiltas pupusas." Oh yeah, "oloquiltas pupusas." Are the, the best. Are the best, the best in El yeah. Salvador. There you go. Okay. Let's talk about beaches. Oh, San Blas Beach is the best. Hmm. Really? What do you think, Juan? No, San Diego. Uh, San Diego. I don't like San Diego. It has, I mean, Why? it's beautiful. It's beautiful, but there are many holes, many holes on the in the on the sea. You know, at the beach shore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. El Pino. Uh, the people call El Pino. Alpacas. How do they call them? Alpacas. Alpacas. Okay. Al Al Paques. Okay. Mm -hmm. Help me with the pronunciation. Al Paque. Al Paques. Okay. Okay. Where are the best waves to surf? Where are the best waves to surf? Playa La Paz. El Tunco. La Paz. La Paz. There are many, many rocks. There are many rocks, but many waves. So you need to know, you need to learn where are the rocks. It's crazy, but it's amazing. The most amazing experience when you surf. It's amazing. Okay, something else. What is the best place to go camping in El Salvador? Someone else. Sabrina, Ada, Fatima, Isela, Carla, Yamel. The Pital. Um, the Pital. Yeah. It's the best. Change, change the best. Don't use the best. I want to hear something else. Like the most popular. The most popular. The most popular place to go camping is the Pital. Perfect. Uh -huh. Is the hottest? The hottest? No. Most, the hardest. More hardest. The farthest. Yeah. Okay. It's Monte Cristo. Okay. The most extreme. Extreme. The most extreme place. Place to go camping is Monte Cristo. Okay. One more. The most beautiful. The most amazing. The, the, most, the most beautiful uh, place is uh, Espíritu de la Montaña. From uh, La Unión. La Unión. Jesucristo de la Montaña. Espíritu de la Montaña. Oh, you, can see, oh, yes. you can see el Golfo, Golfo de Fonseca. So yeah, I, I saw some pictures of, of yeah. that place. It's amazing. Yes. I went I went uh, this place uh three years three, yeah, three years ago. Three so years beautiful. ago. Yeah. Wow. So beautiful. Okay. I already forgot the name. I'm sorry. Uh, El Espíritu de la Montaña. El Espíritu yeah. de la Montaña.
Mm -hmm. Can you stay there? You know, like a few days? Maybe? Okay. Good. You see, there are great things in El Salvador. Um, the best or the most, uh, or no, the newest, the newest, newest uh, road in El Salvador or the most um, well preserved, listen, the, the most well preserved road in El Salvador is in El Pajonal. No idea? No idea, El Pajonal? No? That's, uh -huh. uh, that's Santa Ana, you know, then you go to Candelaria La Frontera, and then yeah. you go to Pajonal, which is close to La Frontera with, the frontier with Honduras. So that road is like new. Is is like new. I mean, and that's because many um, Salvadorians that migrated to the United States, they uh, donated money to build the road. Before, before it was a danger because you go on the mountain and let's say this is the mountain and your vehicle used to go here. And here was a big wall of rocks, but now they build a road. It's amazing. I mean, it's like new, and it and it was built like five years ago. So, and that's the most uh, preserved, the most preserved road. Think about adjectives, guys, because we are going to use them a lot. Okay, let's go with your book today, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to learn how to say. Si no le hubiese dicho, hubiera comprado el billete de lotería, hubiese estudiado más inglés. That's the topic for today. <laughs> That's today's topic. How to express remorse, regret. We will see it in a minute. Let's start with our objective. Jocelyn, help me. What's our objective today? Okay, yes, for me. Okay, I will be able to give advice on things to monitor personal and improve workplace operations. I like that tips. Okay, yeah. So tips to monitor, monitor, monitor personal and improve workplace operations. Oh, call center people. Are you aware of the sandwich technique? Mm -hmm. Isela, you're going for manager, right? Jocelyn, I yeah. guess. Do you do you know about the sandwich technique? Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm not manager, but I hear about it. You hear about it. The way just this the way just to project your feedback to your employee or your coworker in a positive way. In, yeah. In a positive way, that's right. So we may, we may talk about it. We may talk about it. I'm, I'm gonna let you know how to do it because it's very useful. That is very useful how to address uh, employees, how to address everybody, you know. If you use the sandwich technique, it's gonna be very useful for you in life. So, but in this case, how to improve workplace operations. Let's go with the first two questions to warm up. How are employees monitored at your company? How are employees monitored at your company? What kind of documentation is used in your company to make sure employees are doing a good job? Hmm. Okay, in general, in call center industry, um, they use forms, quality forms. That's the way they monitor you because the operation is based on voice calls, okay? Voice calls, so it's recorded. Um, but some other tasks like back office jobs are left on, we could call them legal documents, operations, processes that need to be handled 
in good manner. Um, so for example, tomorrow there's overtime in my workplace. There's overtime, but it's only for people who has the training and the, and the big prize, Alex, <laughs> you know, what's the big prize? The big prize, if you do overtime, if you do more hours and they are paid like $5 per hour, $5 per hour on overtime, if you do the most, if you do the most overtime, you win a Nintendo Switch. Oh my God, I was like, yeah. oh my God. Amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. So I may, I may go for it. So you see, and that's the way um, the incentive employees is an incentive for your employees. Um, so, but how do they monitor? The point is that I couldn't do overtime in that part because they need, you need to be trained to do things right, right? You need to know the processes. And how do they monitor? They just listen to your calls. They take a look at the processes that you develop on the system. So in the documentation they use, um, it's just forms, you know, good job, bad job, good job, bad job. And that's it. Metrics, the way we know them. I believe Elvin is aware of this. They have forms, they have goals to reach for a certain amount of time. So talk about this. How are employees monitoring your company? In most companies, I mean, regular offices, they don't monitor employees. Do you think your boss is not monitoring you in any way? Do you think they should have a form to monitor you? Let's discuss this in groups. And we come back in 10 minutes, okay? But please have a discussion with your classmates. Oh, they don't monitor you? Really? Hmm. Okay. Is that good? Is that bad? Let's do it. Okay. Hi. Hi, guys. How are you? Hi, so far so good. And you? I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Um, you, how are you, um, Elvin and Anna? Uh, um, more or less, I, uh, I, I don't feel well. <laughs> <laughs> You feel happy because today is Friday. No, but, yeah. but he's a little bit sick. Hey, uh, te quería preguntar, Alvin, ¿se hizo la prueba? ¿Ya se realizó la prueba? Sí, pero es infección nada más. Ay, gracias a Dios. Ok. <laughs> no, okay. Pero, I got COVID. Miss, really? Sí, pero en tu caso yes. estás delgadita, estás saludada. <laughs> no. No. Really? Y ahorita ya, ya te pasó, yo sé, ya pasó el efecto y todo. Eso fue el, el año pasado. El, ah. el Uf, ok. Y tuve Venga. Mis, dos hijos andan, mis dos hijos andan con catarro. Yo así como que... Eh, yuca, es que también, también la niña tuvo, creo yo. Mi, a mi esposa, doctor. ay, pero los niños, gracias a eso, solo les da una gripita y ya estuvo. A mi esposa sí le dio, y, y lo raro es que yo la cuidé, o sea, pasé un mes prácticamente encerrada ahí en el cuarto, y yo ahí de afuera, los niños por la ventana, vaya, te extraña, muy bien triste, porque fueron durante la cuarentena también, pero lo extraño es que a mí solo medio me dolió el cuerpo y nada de temperatura. Soy inmune. No, en mi caso, mi profe was working at the hospital. Oh, he's a nurse. He's a nurse. He's nurse. He, got nurse. He, got he got COVID? He got COVID. And he survived. He to me. Okay. But we survived. And you were like, thank you. <laughs> Thank yes, you. Mm, not really. At the beginning, it was very hard. Oh. 
in the baby? Oh, I got in the in the baby. She got, I guess, but she didn't say the day. She didn't take care of her during that time, but she got. Okay. I guess that she got. I believe we have, she... we have to go through that, right? Okay. Yes. Oh, okay, we're, guys. We're good. Okay, go ahead, guys. Okay, guys. So I will share the photo. Yes, let me one moment. There is a, uh, there, there are different uh, software and all all the the projects in our install installer installer in 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 the computer uh the the personal uh, check check the 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 car check the car in through through the pistola how do you say pistola? A pistol? Oh. A pistol. Oh. Ah, pero en qué contexto? A, a, a pistol, the... Ah, the, a tool, a tool. Ajá, uh -huh, y uh, check the, the código, código de barra. Barcodes. Barcodes. Or barcodes. Or, okay. or, or, or QR. We have the, the two. Um, QR, QR code. Hey, I don't know how to do that. You need a an app, right? You need a. Uh, an you app. can do that in a web page. You, you can really? change uh, text uh, numbers or uh, short text, large, large text. You can change yeah, that because... text in a QR code. In a QR code, my we went with my son to to Papa John's yesterday, and they had this little menu on the table with a QR code, and I felt like eighty years old because I, I my twelve year old my son is almost twelve years old, and I asked him, hey, how do I read that thing that code? Mm -hmm. Let's do it, he said, and he took my phone and he said, here you have to use the cam scanner. You have the cam scanner app. That app has a reader of QR codes. And I was like, okay, <laughs> but how do you know, right? I was surprised. I was amazed. I mean, wow. Okay. <laughs> Keep going. Actually, actually that, that is uh, common in when you're, you're found QR in um, news or in web page or many many places that but in digital uh -huh. in digital uh, environment and you why do you use it i mean why do they use it is it for security or uh, we we we, have, we can have we can use the that for that way uh, for security or only for safe for, money <laughs> yes yes uh, 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 there are many ways to use that but the usual is for redirect uh, people or uh, cap the attention for the users or instead of like having a, a, a website address they, yes yes uh, oh. usually usually it's, it's a url a url url yes and it, oh. it, when you uh, scan that the qr uh, they redirect to the website to the article uh, when when they are you want to, to, to they, go. they want you to go to uh, where they want you to go to okay good so guys are you monitored in your job 
Uh, in my case, uh, yeah, the, there, there are not farms or something like that. Uh, we have a platform named Jira. Uh, in Jira, they program uh, a backlog for each employee. And we have tax for every week. So we have, we have to change the status in, 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 in each the status in each tax uh, when I working on that. So when, when I finish my, my that, that task, I change the status to done and my my boss can can verify what what I do uh, in all the week. Okay. Make sure this monitor. Verify, verify. He can verify what I'm doing. Okay, what or what I have done during the week, um, yes. during the whole week. Status. 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 There you go. Status, you said something else as well. Okay, keep it up, keep going. Okay, in my case, um, the employees mm, fill out, uh, work harder. So then the the and they write and so so on the 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 other department for example the analytics department they give a credit and they the department is checking they because department and they administer they administer they manage money. Uh, sorry, they manage money. They manage and, money. Mm -hmm. And have to check in the department. Department. Because, hmm, and the and see, ah, it exists other department. 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 department there you go this is okay uh, edwin uh, sal uh, salus executive uh, must submit one salus report become document uh, per month submit 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 there you go Perfect. Okay, let's share it with everybody. Let's go. Okay. Let's go with Alan and then with Carla Ivani. If we may, if we can. Uh, so, are you monitored? Are you monitored at your workplace? Yes, of course. In my case, the company, uh, they have cameras everywhere. <laughs> Camera, repeat cameras. Camera. Cameras. Yes, uh, but you are also the they, they also they use a checklist, for example, and when the the, the because I, I work with drivers, they have to uh, fill a checklist, fill out, uh, fill out a checklist before they start a, a trip, and that's some monitoring that. At the end of the trip that they they complete, they must fill another form to be sure that they don't do anything wrong. That's to make sure they do. They, they don't. They don't wrong. do anything wrong. They don't do anything wrong. Mm -hmm. To make sure they don't make any mistakes. Okay. Yeah. Good. And do you think that's a good way to monitor you? Um, at the beginning, I feel stressful because you feel like, a, a, how can I say it in English? It's like a big brother. 
all their moves are <laughs> under surveillance. So, so, under so surveillance, bad? under surveillance. Yeah. But at the end, did you, you know, did you ever watch that series? Big Brother? Um, I, I don't watch. The, I didn't. I didn't watch it because I feel like it's boring, but all the people in my in neighborhood, your family. Yes, I, yeah, everybody used to, everybody used to talk about that, right? Yes. At the beginning, I feel like, uh, hey, I'm, I'm stressful over that kind of the, ah, I'm going to make a movie. And they, I can, but at the end, if you don't do anything wrong, I think that is. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, you that's right. To care about it. If you're actually, that's a great opportunity. It's a great opportunity. If they're always monitoring you, it's a great opportunity to yeah. show off, to show off. Yeah, some of my uh, co-workers uh, feel like, uh, for example, in the, uh, one of uh, some of the truck drivers uh, feel stressful because in the dashboard of the truck, they put in a, a camera. They have a camera where, in the dashboard? Yes. Uh, for example, if they... Uh, can I, I use this phone a day feel as uh, how can I say when I you feel this no you feel stressful when you don't when they they young. do that the, the camera took a picture takes the, a picture. takes a picture and send it to all the the managers in, at the at the in the morning they, oh my god they ask you hey you feel you feel, are you uh, sleepy? Are you yeah. sleepy? Uh, or um, some of the cases though they don't know that the 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 in the dashboard is those things and they smoke it's... inside of the truck and gave you a um a ticket. I don't know how can I say in English. So you are not told. I'm getting stressed only listen to <laughs> Uh, uh, yes, uh, do you hear about the the, the truck that uh, uh, that killed a lot of beer? Yeah, in uh, Cincinnati. Oh well, uh, here, here. No, I yeah. saw a video. I saw a video of a truck driver who was falling asleep. He actually no. fell asleep, and he ran over uh, like three or five cars in the front. It was crazy. Or the oh. guy that was trying to answer his phone or changing the song on his cell phone the the that thing that is in the dashboard talk to the to the driver and say you feel dizzy or you send message it sends a message and pre, it says yeah, pre-recording message pre-recorded pre-recorded pre messages message. messages wow like city yes okay Good job, Alan, great job. Thank you, wow. That's like the latest technology to monitor your employees. Man, sometimes I disconnect the camera. I always disconnect the camera from the computer of the job, you know, because the light on the camera is on. If I leave it connected, because they gave us a camera for some reason for the train, you know, when we have uh, meetings, virtual meetings with the call center we have to turn on the camera so i always disconnect it because i'm like mm, i don't know one of these days i woke up in the middle of the night and the two lights were on so i was like mm, no <laughs> i don't like that okay guys hey alan look there's another way to say they don't know they are not aware they are not aware and if it is past they wear not aware. They were not aware. Ellos no estaban al tanto. Ellos no sabían. They were not aware. Wow. Okay. Monitoring personal. Important. Okay, let's go with the second part of page um, 29, which is um, a conversation. I want you to pay attention, please, and always check this video after the class if you want to improve your pronunciation, okay? Check this part. Listen to me. Listen to your classmates and be a critic. Be a critic, okay? So 
Listen, where's Mario? He is late for his shift. For his shift. Shift. Mario? Godness. I'm sorry. Mario? Goodness. 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 Okay. Mario? Goodness. I got a, I got a call. I got a call that he is very sick. I got a call that he's very sick. I should have. Ah, that's contracted. I'm sorry. I should have told you. I should have told you earlier. I should have told you earlier. Don't worry. He should have called me directly, directly. If he had called to my phone, I could have found, found a substitute by now, a substitute by now. I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. Let me cover for him. That sounds weird. One more time. Natural pace. Where's Mario? He's late for his shift. Mario? Goodness. I got a call that he's very sick. I should have told you earlier. Don't worry. He should have called me directly. If he had called to my phone, I could have found a substitute by now. I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. Got it? Repeat as many times as you can. Don't think in Spanish. Okay? Don't translate. Just read carefully. Any questions on the pronunciation? What about should? What about could? Cold? Mm -hmm. Cura, chura. Eh, Not yet. So, <laughs> directly, teacher. Directly. Directly, yes. Not directly, yeah. no. Directly, directly. Directly. He should <laughs> have called me to, directly. Substitute, substitute. A substitute by now. It's very, very Spanish. Substitute. Mm -hmm. A substitute by now. Okay. Any other? Goodness. Goodness. Got up. I got a call. I got a call. Got a call. Got a got a call. I got a call. I got a call that he's very sick. Very. Be careful. You say very, very. Yeah, very. Don't say very, very. That's Mora, right? This is very, very. Okay. Let's do it in small groups. Please repeat as many times as you can. And I'm still showing us the one. Okay. There we go. Let me recreate the groups really quick. How many are we? We are 20. Awesome. Thank you guys for being here. Let's go in couples. Please repeat, repeat, repeat. Okay. What did you say? Practice. What? What did you say? Uh, I can't believe it. I have fans. <laughs> wow. The first. Okay. Where is Mario? He is late for his shift. Mario? Goodness, I got a call that he is very sick. I should have told you earlier. Don't worry. She should have called me directly. directly. <laughs> he, if he had called to my phone, I could have found a substitute by now. I have a time this afternoon. Let me oh. cover for him. 
I am. Hmm? I'm sorry. I have a time or oh, I, ha I have. I have time. I have time. Oh, I say the word the letter A. How the a. article? Ah, <laughs> uh -huh, the article. Yes, I have time. Okay, again. Again, again, again. Again, ah. <laughs> Again, again. Don't worry, don't feel nervous. I'm, I'm just another person, like ah, other one. Uh -oh. <laughs> Where's Mario? He's late for his shift. Mario? Goodness, I got a call that he is very sick. I should have told you earlier. Don't worry, he should have called me direct, directly, directly. Mm. If he had called Called to my phone, I I could have found a substitute by now. I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. Okay. Hey, just say goodness. Good. Good. Why? God, because goodness. If, uh, if you say godness, it's divinidad. Mm. Con una o. Godness. Goodness. Uh -huh. If you say goodness as the old me, right? It's the it's the same as oh my god, same thing. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Goodness. Goodness. Good goodness. Goodness. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Do it again. Okay. Where's Mario? Uh -huh. Mario. Goodness. I got a call. That he is very sick. I should have told you earlier. Don't worry. Don't worry. He should. He should have called. 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 Called me. Directly. 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 If he had if, a call. If he uh, called. If he had, if he had called me, I'm sorry, called. if he had called to my phone, if he had called to my phone, I could have found, I could have found a substitute by now, a substitute by now. There you go. Mm -hmm. I have a time this afternoon. Oh, Let I have cover time. For him. I have time. I, uh, I, I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. Okay, repeat with me. Afternoon. 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 Better. Hem. 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 Let me cover for him. Let me cover for him. Better. Good job. Let's change couples. Where? Let's change couples. Let's change couples. Let's change couples. Please. Hey, come on. <laughs> well, my, my couple um, turned off the camera. And, you know. <gasps> How dare you? <laughs> How dare he? How dare she? That's unconceivable. That is unconceivable. Bueno, tenemos 20 segundos en lo que Isela, Carla y Roberto se meten. Hoy vi un video de un accidente británico. Un accidente muy inglés. El tipo va manejando, se hace pedazos con el carro, sale del carro y dice, oh my goodness, um, well, that was kind of an accident, okay, but I'm okay, are you okay, Sarah? And he goes out of the car, se salió del carro, pero así como que, nada de, en shock, vea, okay, I need water, fine, <laughs> I need some water, it's like, <laughs> I need to, a bottle of water. <laughs> y el tipo que venía atrás de él, que fue con el tren que chocó, venía como rabioso. De, uh, Are you okay? Le, Can I kill you now? Le, <laughs> Lo puedo matar ya. Le, 
Y era un latino. Dice, en el que no, era el Londres de Británica, era un TikTok. No sé, jugado. Ok, guys, let's change couples. Hey, lo que decía Alexander, encende tu cámara. Esa es la brecha entre el COVID okay, y las clases virtuales. Por eso estamos en clases virtuales, por el COVID. Entonces, para es la brecha del distanciamiento social, es lo que les quiero decir en las clases virtuales. Que te vean la cara, hombre, por lo menos. Come on, guys. No te precies, Alexander. No te precies. Please. Ok. Ok. Acuérdense. Hola. Espérenme. Que okay. Se... ok. Acuérdense también, nada de música ganadera, ¿cómo es? Pecuaria. No, agropecuaria. Ok, no agropecuaria <laughs> music in this classroom. Ok, let's go. Ok, let's go. Escuchar a William. <laughs> There you go. Ok. ¿Qué, qué, ¿De qué hablar? Again. Hello. I'm here again. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. <laughs> again. No, I couldn't. <laughs> Just waiting for Ada okay. here. I couldn't be on time yesterday because I got a family issue. But I was at 9 a.m. But I couldn't be at A. Early, but I will not miss anymore. I won't miss any class. I couldn't. I couldn't be here earlier. Repeat. I couldn't be here earlier. I couldn't be here earlier yesterday. Earlier, earlier yesterday. Perfect. Okay. Earlier. 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 There she is. Hello, Adita. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, girl, girls. Okay. Okay. I will be the kitchen manager, you will be married, and then so on. We will, we will. Mario, Mario, goodness. I got a call that he is very sick. I should have told you earlier. Don't worry. He should have called me uh, di directly. It's correct, directly. 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 Mm -hmm. Directly, if he had called my phone, I could have found a substitute by now. I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. Repeat him. Him. Huh? Let me cover for him. Let me cover uh, for him. Let me cover for him. him. Perfect. I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. I have time. <laughs> I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. 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 Mm -hmm. I, I for him. Him. Yeah. Him. Do it again. One, two, three, go. Him. Okay. Uh, the same. The same sentences. No, no, no. Change. Oh, no, you, you, okay. you start. Okay. Where's Mario? He's late for his shift. Mario. Goodness. I got a call that he is very sick. I should have told you earlier. Don't worry. He should have called me directly. If he had called to my phone, I could have found a substitute by now. I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. Excellent. Do it one more time. We're almost done. Okay. Where is where is Mario? He is late for his shift. 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 There you go. Okay. Mario. Um. Okay. Directly, right? Okay. Okay. Don't. So please continue. Okay. Don't worry. He should have calling me directly. If you have calling to me? my phone. Call me directly. Call me directly. Call if, me. Yeah, please continue. Okay. If you have call to my phone, I call have some substitute by now. 
It could have okay. count. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hold yours. Fatima. Okay. Okay. Uh, Smear. Where's Mario? He is late for his shift. Mario? Goodness. I got a call that he is very sick. I should have told you earlier. Don't worry. He should uh, have called me. Directly is he had called to me phone. I call hi phone a substitute by now. Substitute. I could have found. I could have found. I could have found. No. Repeat, Repeat teacher, please. Look at, but look at me. I uh -huh. could have found. Okay. I could find. How, eh, perdón. I could have found. Vamos a repetir esto sin, le sin leer. No volte a ver el libro, mira en la cámara. I could. I could have have found found a substitute a substitute by now by now okay there you go Gracias. check Thanks. the video revise el video de nuevo okay. repeat 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 vuelvan a empezar por favor let's start again okay uh, where is mario he's late for his ship Mario, goodness, I got a call that he is very sick. I should have told you earlier. Don't worry, he shall have called me directly. Is he have called to my uh, call to my phone? I um, call to my phone. I call have found a substitute by now. I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. Okay. Uh, okay. Repeat. One more time. Thanks. Where is mm -hmm. Mario? He's late for his shift. Mario, goodness, uh, goodness. I got called that he is very sick. Hi, sorry. I should have to. Uh, I'm sorry. I should have told you earlier don't worry he should have called me directly if he had called me to my phone i could have found a substitute by now i have time this afternoon let me cover let, let me cover for him for him i have time this afternoon let me cover for him Okay. Thanks. Okay, I think we're ready, right? Let's see, really quick. Some areas of improvement that I have found for you here. Hope you watch this video later. And then you say, shh. Yes. Just listen, watch and listen. Try to repeat by yourself. Shift, shift, I'm sorry. Um, so you say again, shift, shift, okay? You say goodness, goodness. Si dices godness, 
godness con una O, eso es divinidad. ¿Y qué está diciendo? Dios santo, Dios mío. Es una expresión, ¿ok? Goodness. Goodness. Got a call o got a call. Got a call. Got a call. Directly. 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 The stress is on the second syllable. Directly. Cold. Cold. He had cold. 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 It's like cold. Very cold. Found. Found. Could have found. Found. Substitute. 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 Eso es muy apegado al español. Un error común en los principiantes y él ha escuchado en alguno de ustedes aún. Pero se puede corregir fácilmente. ¿Cómo? Diferenciando entre la F P, y la V de Victor. Ok, so you say this afternoon. Afternoon. This afternoon. This afternoon. Stop saying good afternoon. Okay. Good afternoon, teacher. No, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay. There you go. That's the way you do it. So that's pronunciation. Let me see. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. Sandra. Let's go with Juan. Juan likes reading. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Where's Mario? He's late for his shift. Mario, goodness, I got a call that he is very sick. I should have told you earlier. Don't worry, he should have call me directly is he have called to my phone i call have found a substitute by now i have time this afternoon let me cover for him okay that was couple number one este día vamos a empezar a implementar una nueva dinámica como todas las noches les subo el video a todos eh, cuando tenga tiempo mañana Volví a esta parte del video. Es un poco más de la mitad, casi la mitad del video. Ok, casi a la hora de inicio, de iniciar la sesión. Puedes regresar al video en YouTube y ver esta parte. Donde yo me acerco a la cámara y pronuncio las palabras que les pronuncié. Porque justo ahí es donde necesitamos mejorar. Entonces tu reto será escuchar esa parte que yo te pronuncié. Y luego escucharte a ti. <ríe> ok. Te va a gustar el ejercicio. Vas a decir... Mm, no, no dijo así. ¿Cómo dijo? Voy a regresar. No. Y yo. Y él. Ok. So. We get it. Be really good. You got it, right? Ok. We Let get me. It. We, we get it. Ok. Let's see. Rina and Johnny. Where's Mario? It's late. For his shift. Mario, goodness. I got a call that he is very sick. I should have called you earlier. Don't worry. He should have called me directly. If he had called to my phone, I could have found a substitute by now. I have done this afternoon. Let me cover for him. Okay. Thank you. Things that I didn't point out before. Cosas que no apunte antes, okay? Hay ciertos pronombres. Los pronombres um, van al final, ¿verdad? Sí, sujetos, pronombres. Sujetos, pronombres. Van al final. Como hem que es el de he, ¿verdad? He, him. Y cuando it va al final como sujeto pronombre, se pronuncia et. So, et, him, ok, them, 
and etc. So be careful with that. By the way, you say late, 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 okay? Two more, let me see, let me hear Miguel Angel Paz and Fatima Ifegenia, please. Okay, where's Mario? He's late for his trip. Mario, goodness, I got a call he's very sick. I should have told you early. Don't worry, he should have called me directly. If he had called to my phone, I could have found a substitute by now. I have done this afternoon. Let me cover for him. Mm -hmm. Okay, again, watch the video. Go back on the video. You're gonna laugh. You're gonna go like, oh no, I didn't do that. Oh, really? Right, a kiss. That's my voice. Yo recuerdo, tengo un video, acabo de encontrar un video del 2007, seis meses antes de que muriera mi tío, que tenía cinco títulos, yo creo que les comenté a quién me educó, y fue mi cumpleaños número 25. Y pues ahí salen dos, tres personas que ya no están en mi vida, y, y me dio risa porque al final del video era con intención de ver solo a mi mamá y empezaba como a soltarme mucho en el inglés, pero cometí una de errores gramaticales en ese... Son como cinco minutos que me pongo a hablarle y todo en inglés para que viera cómo hablar. I was like, no way, that's not me. Ok, so, te reto que hagas eso. Grabate, grabate un videito corto y guardalo por ahí, que nadie lo vea. Y después lo ves tú. Ok, de aquí unos dos años, primero Dios ya está, pero pulido en el inglés y te vas a reír. Y al mismo tiempo te va a ayudar a mejorar, ok. Okay, guys, let's go. Let me do the attendance one more time before we go with the next two steps. Okay, Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Thank you. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Present. Thank you. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespín. Elvin Arcide Seguizabal Martínez. Present. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Thank you. Carla Janet Amaya Herrera. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landaverde. Present. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Miriam. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Thank you. Roberto Luis Sumaño Orellana. Sabrina Mabel Atín Castro. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. José Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia. José Ángel Martínez Hernández. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Present. Ok. Good, eh, vamos a una pausa, estirémonos, relax. Okay. Relax, take it easy. Stretch up. Sandwich technique. Easy. Um, bien, se lo voy a decir rápido porque quiero que sea como una pequeña pausa entre nosotros, un regalito. Esto es muy útil en la vida real, ante todo si tienes personal bajo tu mando. Eh, usualmente tú ves a tu jefe y es como un ogro, ¿no? Es como la, la existe ese, ese, ¿cómo se dice? Cuando le pones un tag a una persona, tagueas a alguien, decimos, ajá, ¿cómo se llama en español? Etiqueta. Le pones una etiqueta, etiqueta. a alguien, tenés... Tachar de. Foto. Juan. Tachar de. Tachar de, ajá. De otra manera, es decir, estereotipos. Lo decíamos la vez pasada. Creas estereotipos acerca del jefe. ¿no? El jefe es un ogro, una persona muy... Uh, que no querés ni verlo. Y cuando lo ves, salís corriendo a hacer tu trabajo. Solo cuando lo ves. Ok. 
pues si tú eres jefe y te quieres quitar ese estigma de un solo, ok, es diferente que un jefe llegue donde un empleado y le diga, hey, ¿qué estás haciendo? Mira, vengo a decirte que ya no te aguanto, me estás incumpliendo las metas, no estás llegando a lo que yo necesito. Si seguís así, te vas a tener que ir. Esto no está bien, mira lo que hiciste, no lograste tus metas, o sea, mamen, ponete las pilas. ¿Qué te queda a ti? En primer lugar, un mal sabor en la boca. En segundo lugar, odio hacia esa persona. Tercer lugar, ya no quiero estar en esta empresa, ¿verdad? Y en ese se va el engagement, el compromiso que podrías haber tenido con la empresa. ¿Sí o no? Entonces, eso es maltrato al empleado, todo lo que quieras, te ganas de mandarlo. Ok. Todo ese ambiente de hostilidad, si tú eres un buen jefe y si algún día Dios te regala estar en una posición de jefatura, lo puedes quitar de la siguiente manera. Es muy diferente. Llegar donde Pablito y decirle, hey, ¿qué tal Pablo? ¿Cómo está? Buenos días. Muy bien. ¿Qué tal la familia? Bien. Ok. Bien. Fíjese que quería hablar con usted un segundo. No sé si puede. Sí, claro que sí. Venga. Claro que puede. Bien. Mire, eh, vamos a en las métricas. Me llega. Está haciendo un gran trabajo, aunque sea para así, en buen salvadoreño, está haciendo un buen trabajo, o sea, usted se está desempeñando, el mes pasado estuvo un poco más bajo que ese y me llega, vamos a seguir con eso, eh, pero ¿qué le parece? Ya me equivoqué, dije pero, no tenés que decir pero, ¿le parecería si agregamos estas funciones a su puesto o hacemos este proceso de esta manera? No sé, ¿qué, qué le parece? Deme ideas, yo sé que usted es muy inteligente, una persona muy capaz, ¿Qué le parece eso? Ah, sí, ya, ya hasta te sentís como, wow, vea. Sí, ok, porque en esta área es donde estamos, necesitamos mejorar. Esta es nuestra principal área de oportunidad, mire. Entonces, yo sé que usted puede decir, ya lo he demostrado antes, hace dos meses estuvo así, ¿bien? Entonces, yo sé que usted puede. ¿Cree que lo podemos corregir? Ok, muy bien. ¿Para cuándo lo corregimos? Eh, hoy es viernes, ¿qué le parece ese lunes? ¿El lunes? ¿Sí? Perfecto. ¿A qué horas paso por usted? Por su posición para ver cómo, cómo le fue. Ah, a las 10, 12. Ok, perfecto. Yo paso del almuerzo. Es más, si quiere, vamos a almorzar juntos. Ok, y platicamos de eso. Tranquilo, ok. ¿Hay algo que usted necesita de mi parte para alcanzar eso? No, no. Ok, perfecto. Cualquier cosa me llama. Ya tiene mi número, ¿verdad? No, si no, aquí está, mire. Excelente. Vamos a salir adelante. Siga haciendo ese buen trabajo que usted está haciendo. Lo felicito. ¿Cómo te sentís ahora? Asustado. Asustado. ¿Crees que te van a echar todavía? Todavía. Oh, yeah. That is suspicious. That's suspicious, right? Lo mismo con las metas en la línea de producción. El... Si yo hubiese supido, si hubiese supido, uy, si yo hubiese sabido, así es, ¿sí? Hubiese tenido conocimiento, Bien. voy a cambiar la palabra, de esto cuando yo estaba en el 2001 en una línea de producción con 50 operarias cosiendo calzones. Uh -huh. Sí, así, brasieres, camisas, t-shirts. Bueno, anyways, miren, les juro que mi vida hubiese sido otra, porque estaba bicho y era otro rollo, pero el punto es ese. ¿Ves la sintaxis que ocupas al dirigirte a una persona? Puede cambiar la perspectiva de las cosas de una sola vez. ¿Será que te va a faltar el respeto al empleado o te va a perder el respeto por, por, por hablarle tan en buena onda? ¿O te sonó profesional la manera de hablar? poco profesional, ¿no? ¿Sí? No le dijiste vos, oh, hey, mira, que no sé qué. No, fuiste muy profesional. Entonces, ojo con eso. Positivo, lo negativo ni lo sintió, ni cuenta se dio, pero quedó claro. ¿Por qué? Porque le sacaste un compromiso. Para tal fecha tiene que tener eso hecho. Se metió en el lío de cumplir con eso. Ya inconscientemente. Y no va a dormir el fin de semana pensando en cómo va a llegar esa meta el lunes. Y sin embargo, se siente el mejor de la empresa. Entonces, piensen eso. That's the point. ¿Ok? Se llama la técnica del sándwich. Puedes googlearlo. Es súper entretenido estudiar un poco de eso. ¿Ok? Es una pausa. Let's move on. Okay. ¿Por qué les hablo de esto? Vienen temas de gerencia en su siguiente módulo. En, en el 7 también. So, en el 2, perdón. El, sería el 3. El módulo 2 y 3. El 4 y 5. Avanzado. Todo tiene que ver con marketing, managing. Man. A lot of things, training requirements and so on. And a lot of thinking. So let's look at the conversation and complete the statements. I should have told, told you earlier. I should uh -huh. have. Ojo, tres partes. 
should have told you. Should have told. Okay. Number two. He had. He should have oh. called. He had called. Okay. Call. He should have uh, called. called. Okay. Call. And last one. If he had called to my phone, I. Could have found. Could have 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 found. 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 Easy. Now, do you remember the present perfect? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to use it right now. Okay. We're going to talk about present perfect. Okay. And it was very simple. What was the auxiliary of the present perfect? Have. 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 Uh, have, uh, have or has. Very good. And then what? So subject have. Verb in, uh, verb in past participle. Past participle. Past participle. Past participle. Okay. And then the complement, right? Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, he's a white. <laughs> <laughs> Little bold man. <laughs> okay. So past participle of the verb in complement. I have told you many times. I have told you many times. Present perfect. I haven't told you at all. I haven't told you at all. Have you told me about this before? Have you told me about this before? You got it? Reminder. No, I Good? haven't. No, I yeah. haven't. Okay, I haven't told you. So have you ever gotten last minute notice? Let me see if that's part of the lesson plan. I think we have to jump into the grammar of the, yeah, perfect models. Yeah, nope, we're still missing that exercise. So let's do it together. Before we jump into the grammar, let's talk about this for a minute. Have you ever gotten, have you ever got, have you ever gotten? Both options are okay. A last minute, a last minute notice about a member of your staff not going to work. Have you ever gotten a last minute notice about a member of your staff not going to work? It's like, have you ever been called by a coworker? Hey, cover my back. I'm not going to work today. I'm sick. Okay, I'm not going to work. I'm gonna go out with the Maria, with La Maria. Shh, don't tell the boss, okay? Okay, okay, I got your back. Okay. For me. <laughs> How did you handle the situation? How did you handle the situation? Simple past. Simple past. Did you get a substitute? Did you assume some of the absent employees' responsibility? How good are you as a coworker? Did no. you assume some of the absent employees' responsibility? Sure, <laughs> man, don't worry. Or the worst case scenario. The worst case scenario. El peor escenario posible. Okay, the worst case scenario, you said, okay, I got you covered, don't worry. And then you went to the bus, boss, look, William is not coming today. Hmm, he went with La Maria to the motel. Ah, mm, he's not coming fired. to work. Mm -hmm. Eso será un mal empleo, de verdad, poner el dedo a tus compañeros, you know, like, wow. It's not good, okay. The worst case scenario, scenario, the worst case scenario, okay. El peor de los escenarios que te puedas imaginar. The worst case scenario, okay? So, let's discuss this just for five minutes and we come back with the grammar. Have you ever gotten a last minute notice about a member of your staff not going to work? Any, any questions about the first question? Do you understand? Hello? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. You do, Alexander, yeah, the rest. Yeah. <laughs> Sandra? Yes. Rina, Johnny, Fatima, Miguel, Carla, Ivania, Carla, yes. Janet. Yes? Yes, teacher. Ada Susana, no yes. questions? Okay. Okay. So it's four questions basically to have a conversation. So make sure you practice. I'm going to send them to your WhatsApp so you can repeat 
them. And okay, let's go. Let's go, Miguel. I got you, I got you, Juan. It's just that Roberto Luis is driving, I think, or can't yeah. talk right now, don't worry. Just a second. Okay, let's go. As you said, you said. They punish you with, with your, for getting the, the responsibility of the action of your co-worker. Seria, did you punish you, Professor? Did you punish you for the... ¿Te castigaste? No, no, perdón, la castigaron. Did, did they uh, punish did, you? Did they punish you or did you get punished? Did you, did get, you get punished? Punished? Because your... your you assume, creo que esto es regular, but assumed. Assumed. Asumir. Assumed. Assumed. Con D. Assumed. For assumed. No sería. For, for, for assuming. For assuming. Yes. Yes. For assuming mm -hmm. the responsibility of the of the co of your work or of your co worker mm -hmm. absent. Of your absent co-worker? Absent co-worker, okay. Uh -huh. I assume. Uh, but the they, they, discount, they discount to you uh, in your pay or what, what, they, what did they do? I assume uh, his responsibility. I assume yeah. it was his responsibility. Asumí it que was. era su responsabilidad. I assumed no. it was his responsibility. <laughs> Lo que quise decir que asumí su responsabilidad. Es como podría ser. Oh, I, I, assumed, I assumed. Uh huh. His. Uh huh. His responsibility. Perfect. I assumed his responsibility. I assumed his responsibility. Oh, there's a better one. Was... There's a better one. Hay otra manera más chiva de decirlo. Uh, I became. A substitute. Accountable. Oh I ah. became accountable oh. for him. Me volví responsable por él. ¿Es decir? For his yeah. tasks as well. I became accountable. 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 Not, not in my case, creo que nadie es nobody or no one. Mm -hmm. Nobody or no one, yeah. In any case, nobody can uh, substitute to another coworker because uh, in our work, uh, uh, our job each, in our job, our job in our job, each each employee uh, uh, have a uh, ability to to do different things. So I can do the what? I couldn't do it. I couldn't do what another coworker can. Do, can, uh -huh. mm -hmm. because, um, be, because in our in our area, uh, we we have the ability of different language and 
Languages. Languages. Uh -huh. Languages. We, in our job, we are specialists in our areas. Each one is a specialist on its area. So you're a specialist on this area. Yeah. Miguel is a specialist in his area. Yes. And so we cannot cover each other. Yes. Wow. Uh, we don't. We don't have. Uh, we have. We have it. Um. Um. Each other team. Como equipo. We help each other as a team. Each other. Como se escribe each other. Each other. Each other. Ah, each other. Each mm -hmm. other. Okay. Es como podemos each ayudarnos. Yes. Each other. Uno otro. Yes. Yes. Uno otro. Each other. Okay. Ajá, yo siempre mm -hmm. escuchaba la expresión, pero no entendía bien la escritura. Hoy ya, ya me queda each other. Actually, it's, it's together. I'm sorry. It goes one word. It's one word. Ajá, each other. Es que la escupa bastante como podemos ayudarnos mutuamente. Varias veces he escuchado, pero nunca he visto cómo se escribe. Each other. We can help. Uh -huh. our, our we are not. We are not about work. Mm -hmm. We're not a bad team. Okay, keep going. We're almost done. Uh, not about. The last minute. And you, Fatima? In my boss, give me condolences. Condolences. Yes. Okay, what's up? Okay, next question. Did you get a substitute? Sandra, Fatima. Okay. Um, did have this ever happened to you when a coworker calls and say, "Hey, Fatima, I'm late. There's a lot of traffic. There's a whole a lot of traffic right now. Cover me, please. Don't tell the boss. Or tell the boss that I'm late. No." Never happened. No le puedo decir porque estamos grabando la sesión, entonces me van a regañar del trabajo. <laughs> okay. Well. We lost Sandra. Okay. Let's go in back. Case, uh, yeah, Jenny, Juan. In my case, um, I told that I don't have, I, I don't be a manager or, or boss, but I can answer the last questions, right? Did you ask them some of the absent employees sense of responsibility? Well, in my case, once I had to take on the position of a co-worker because they get, he gave him three days off for paternity. Oh, due to paternity and you had to cover his, his schedule. Yeah, mm. a month ago. A month ago? Presently, a month ago. Wow. Yeah. Well, that was more money. That was more money for you. No, no. No? More work. More work. More, really? Money, no. Money, no. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm so sad. That's so sad. Okay. Yeah. Let's take it back. Let's go.
foolish hearts hear me call and stand before okay Let's go with something else so we can warm up. You know, do you know what is to warm up? Yeah. Like okay. a train. Huh? Calentar. Yeah. Heat up. That's right. To warm up. Okay. Ready? I yeah. want to I want to hear you all at the same time. Okay. Let's remember something really quick. Is the past participle of eat? Eating. Eaten. 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 Yeah. Okay. Eaten. Eat. Eaten. Good. What about go? Gone. Gone. Go. Gone. Go. Gone. Good. The cranberries. Nice song. When you're gone. Do. Done. 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 Okay. You Done. See? See? Sing. Sing. Okay. Sí. Ok, uh, necesito sí. escuchar a Ada, Fátima, William, Johnny, Fernando, Juan, Carla Yanet, Rina, Carla Ivania, please. Ok, Miguel Ángel, try it. Almost everybody here in this group. Come on, let me hear you. So, sí. see, you say seen, right? Sí. 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 Take it in. Very good. Hey, you Three. know what? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, <laughs> let's do that. Take a tool. Come on. Draw on the on the on the on the screen. Come on, guys. Red. 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 Okay. I'm going to stop doing that. So, okay. Read. Red. 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 Okay. Drink. Red. Drunk. 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 Okay. Drunk. Perfect. Listen. 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 Mm, repeat. Listen. 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 Like. Did you hear? Did you hear? Listen. 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 Drink. Drunk. Play. 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 Okay. So what goes first? He. Let's make sentences. He. 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 Okay. She. Okay, she. 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 Has. Has. She. 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 She. Has. 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 She. 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 She hasn't. 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 He, okay, yeah, he. Has. Has. It says yes. It says yes, so it's an affirmative sentence. Okay. He has. Been. 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 He has been. To America. To America. Okay. He has been to America. Yes. It's a negative. She. 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 Hassan. 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 Drunk. 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 Coffee. 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 
<laughs> she hasn't drunk coffee. Okay. Positive. She. 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 she? Has. 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 Taking. 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 A shower. A shower. A shower. Shower. A shower. A shower. They. They. Affirmative. Have. 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 Late, 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 Someone said did. Someone said did. It's done. Her homework. Her homework. Okay, one more. He. 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 Has. 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 Red. 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 No, no, red. 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 The book. The book. The book. You got it. Okay. Easy. So keep that in mind. First, you have the they? subject. You have the auxiliary. Uh, if it is negative, they haven't. 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 Okay. Past participle of climb. Climbed. 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 Participio de los verbos regulares es siempre su Climb. pasado simple. ¿Ok? Es lo mismo. ¿Ok? The mountain. The mountain. The mountain. The mountain. The mountain. Did you hear? The mountain. The mountain. The mountain. The mountain. 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 So you need a subject. Auxiliary. Uh, sing. Third participle, yeah. Uh, an elephant. An elephant. An elephant. An elephant. Another okay, I will send you the link so you can continue or start again practicing this. Now that was present perfect, right? Subject has or have. Okay. Participle, past participle of the verb, complement. Keep that in mind because it's the same structure when you want to express regret or remorse, okay? What is regret? Google it. What is regret? Arrepentimiento. Arrepentimiento? What is remorse? Remordimiento. Remordimiento. Yeah. Arrepentido or... Remordido. Or oh, remordido. <laughs> <laughs> Estoy muy remordido, mi amor. Lo siento. Los chuchos se mordieron. Ok. No. Creo que todos entendemos eso, ¿no? Um, y es, de nuevo, vamos a ver algo nuevo. Pongámoslo en el contexto del español. Rápido. Súper rápido. ¿Qué representa should? What's the meaning of should? Suggestion. Sí, Advice. pero en español, ¿qué quiere decir? Debería. Ah, es como debería. 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 ¿Qué quería decir could? Podría. 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 ¿O pasado de qué? Ah, pude. Ajá, pero ajá, ahorita es el modal, modal, podría. Ok. Podría. ¿Y would? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sí. yeah. Ojo. Would afecta directamente al verbo. En este caso, o va a afectar al auxiliar del presente perfecto. Ok, ojo. Would va a afectar al auxiliar del presente perfecto. Sería... ¿Qué quiere decir have? Tener. Tiene. Solo tener. No, tuvo. Tuve. ¿Qué? Ojo, ah, no, tuvo. no, no estoy conjugando ah, el tiene. have. No, es tener. Ah, ok. Model, o, model. A no, ver. No, 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 no. A ver. O, a ver. Eh, a ver. Eh, tener ah. o a ver. ¿Con sí, eso nos quedamos? ¿Ya? Yeah. Entonces, si yo le agrego la terminación de IA de would. A ver, o tener, ¿qué diría? Tendría, ¿Tendría o habría. Tendría, hubiera, habría. Hubiera. Hubiese, hubiera, hubiera, habría. Ya nos ubicamos. 
Yeah. Ok. En español, Ada, Azucena. A ver, dígame una oración en español donde usted puede expresar el remordimiento. Me dice, me equivoqué. <risa> Ajá, como, como, ajá, cuando uno se ha equivocado y saben que la regó y ahí le va a decir el otro, mira, no, 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 hubiera, no hubiera hecho eso. Ajá, no hubiera hecho eso. Hubiera atendido al paciente que llegó tarde. Hubiera atendido al paciente. Ahí ya nos ubicamos. Hubiera atendido a ese paciente. Me hubiera dado la herencia que le dio a la otra compañera un millón de dólares <ríe> Dios mío hey, qué buen ejemplo uh -huh. a los meseros les pasa eso muy frecuentemente un mesero dice esto ¿qué dice el mesero? lo hubiera oh. mi mejor ¿Lo hubiera mi mejor cliente no hubiera no hubiera atendido mal al cliente y funny si me hubieran dado esa mesa a mí, vuela. Well. Ok. Sí. Uh -huh. ¿Qué, estará diciendo, ¿Qué estará diciendo Sancho Serán ahorita? Si sí, no hubiera... Ok. Sí. Ya, 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 no, ya aterrizamos, ¿verdad? Ahí está el ejemplo. Ya aterrizamos. Ok. Arrepentimiento. Entonces dijimos hubiera. Hubiera quiere decir que estás usando would. ¿Qué pasa si ocupo should? Sí. Dijimos no, que should debería. era debería. debería. Ok. El verbo have que no está afectado por should. Ojo, eh. Debería. A ver. Saber. A ver. Preguntado. Debería haber preguntado primero. Perfecto. Otro ejemplo. Vamos todos, todos, todos. Ubiquémonos. Debería. Debería haber comprado. Debería haber comprado, debería haber escrito, debería haber Ay, tenido ya. los valores para decirle que la quería eh, y se me fue. Good one. You got it. Ya vamos a llegar a eso, eh. Ojo, que ahorita los estoy ubicando en el, en el español, pero quiero que se ubiquen y me vayan traduciendo todo lo que me van diciendo. Hmm. Ok, entonces, I should have sería, yo debería haber hecho tal cosa. Ojo que los verbos son acciones, ah. ¿ok? Y en este caso estamos ocupando la, la versión de ido, edo, ado. I should have, I should have gone there. I should. Debería haber ido allí. Perfecto. Y la última. Could have. Dijimos que could era. Podría. Podría. Y entonces. Podría haber. Podría haber. Podría haber. Casi me atropellan. Atropellaron a, al Chucho y no a mí. It could have died. Podría haber. Corrido. Me Podría haber sido yo. yo. ¿Cómo traducís eso? Podría haber sido yo. Run over. No. Run. It. Uh, could have... Ojo, su... Va, vamos could por partes. Vamos, bicho, vamos por partes. Sujeto. Ah, sí, Sujeto. It, ok, could have been, se, been sido been, been me. me. It could me. have could been have me. me. Could have been me. Ahora en inglés, americano, el sujeto a veces es obviado en este tiempo. Eh? Could have been me. Oye, could have been me. 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 Ya vamos a llegar a, lo, a la contracción, que es algo muy utilizado en los, present, en los modales perfectos. Perfect models, que es lo que estamos viendo. ¿Es esto un tiempo gramatical? Ya. Yeah. Y de four. Es mix. Mix. No, es, sí, es, no tiene tiempo esto. Por lo tanto, no es un tiempo gramatical. Sin embargo, es una estructura dentro de los modales para expresar esto. Explícitamente, ¿qué dijimos? Regret o remorse. remorse yeah. Arrepentimiento o remordimiento, que no sé si serán diferentes las cosas, pero es cuando tú hablas de lo que pudo haber sido. Ojo, ¿eh? 
pudo haber pasado, pudo, pudiste haber hecho. ¿Ya? Acciones. Bien. Si sí, ya tenemos claro el contexto, creo que la estructura está bien sencilla, ¿no? You have a subject, a model, have, and the verb in its third form, the past participle. And of course, the complement. So, ojo, ¿será que puedo ocupar otro modal con esto? Eso te lo dejo de tarea. Vamos a enfocar nada más en should, would, and could. Uh -huh. Would have, could have, and should have. Esos tres quiero que nos ubiquemos ahorita. ¿Alguna pregunta hasta acá? Por favor, pongamos en pausa esto ahorita. ¿Alguna pregunta? Questions, questions, questions. Bien, no muevo la clase hasta que tenga tres preguntas de todos los oyentes que tengo en este grupo. Somos hasta este momento 19. Y necesito saber que el adulto que es, al que le estoy hablando, una persona ya madura, muy consciente de sí mismo, no tiene preguntas. Y que el niño interno lo puede dominar y decirle, no, sí voy a preguntar esa pregunta. Porque el niño interno le está diciendo, cállate, no digas nada, no le hablé, cállate. Te van a huevar, no digas nada. Uy, perdón. I'm sorry. Te van a ver de más, de menos. No, habla, no tengas miedo, dale. No puede ser que todo esté claro. No lo puedo creer. Qué bien explico, Dios mío, qué bárbaro soy. Ajá. <risa> uh -huh. y, y el caso que dice acá en el, en el cuadro, en la segunda parte, con el. Es lo, es lo mismo. If. Mm. De hecho, está mal esa fórmula, ¿verdad? William, creo. Tú me estás preguntando, ¿verdad, William? Uh -huh. Ok. ¿Qué, ¿Qué será lo que está mal en esa fórmula? ¿no? Donde están los plus ahí más. If had the subject is missing, right? Ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah. If I had known you were six. Ok. Esta parte del libro. Siempre le he criticado. ¿Por qué? Porque esto es un condicional. ¿Quién creó el libro? ¿Se le fue? Tal vez. No, eh, simplemente. <ríe> bueno, no sabemos, ¿verdad? pero. Lo hizo un pero... Bien, ¿eh? No, yo sí sé por qué pasó esto, pero no lo voy a decir. Eh, sí, ok. Sí, esto es un modal. Verde la lava. Este es un modal, ok. Eh, perdón, es un condicional. Es un condicional. Cuando ocupas la cláusula if o when, ojo, if or when, yo creo que ya vieron esto un poco, ¿eh? Estás implicando que si esta acción se hubiese dado, ¿ok? Esta otra podría haber ocurrido. Repito, es un condicionante y es nada más porque lleva la cláusula if o when. Si sí, esta condición, si hubiese cumplido esta oración, si hubiese cumplido por el tiempo que estamos menos, esto otro, en el ejemplo, habría pasado, podría, perdón, podría haber pasado. If I had known you were sick, si yo hubiese sabido que estabas enfermo, I could have gotten a substitute. Podría haber obtenido un sustituto podría haber buscado un sustituto ok ¿Qué tiempo gramatical es este a ver quién se lo sabe I had known you were sick uh, is, uh, past perfect. Pa past that is the perfect. past perfect y la única diferencia entre el pasado perfecto y el presente perfecto es que el auxiliar está en pasado ok, ya no es have o has ahora todo es had Ojo, eh. no sé si ya vieron el pasado perfecto me, no, yeah. you do, ok esa es la diferencia gracias por la observación William eh, sí, y sí se puede condición ojo, la condicionante en pasado perfecto ok, el resultado ok, sería en modal perfecto I could have gotten eso es un tema bien profundo y por eso les digo el 
a la persona que creó estos ejemplos, pues debió haberse basado más en modales perfectos que en, uh, en la tercera condicionante, que es lo que estás viendo ahí. Esa es la tercera forma de los condicionantes. Ok. Va una pregunta. En el hub, uh -huh. en el hub por ejemplo, no se podría usar también el BIM. Sure, why not? Mm -hmm. I been, could, I, see, I could have been the best employee mm -hmm. of the month. I could have been the best employee of, of the month. Oi, modales, perfectos, junto con un superlativo. I could have been the best employee of the month. Podría haber sido el mejor empleado del mes. <gasps> Excellent. It could have been the best if employee. If the selector has been in Qatar, it could have been champion. Te faltó el modal de antes, Juan. If selecta could have won Qatar, uh -huh, mm -hmm. it would have, have moved. Been... Uh -huh, it could have, yeah. could have moved. gone to the finals, moved to the finals. To the uh, Seminar. To the semifinals. Semifinal. I don't know. I don't know about football. I need to know about football, <laughs> about soccer. Okay. Van dos preguntas, me falta una. Someone else. Johnny, are we clear? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Adita? Doc, doc. No. Questions. No. Todo bien. Okay. Good. Bien, entonces, como ya absorbimos el entendimiento entendido antes de, perdón, oh. pero estaba viendo cantinflas antes de la clase, so, sorry. Ya absorbimos el entendimiento entendido y todo está comprendido. Contractions. Esto ya lo viene. No, no lo he visto. Could have. Could have. Could have, should have, would have. Should have. Should have, should have. Okay. Would have, would have, would have. ¿Qué es eso, teacher? Es la contracción del modal, los tres modales que estamos viendo, junto con el auxiliar. I could have. Lo voy a hacer muy lento, lento y despacio, lento y despacio. Y se con el pica piedras. Lento y despacio, lento y despacio. Y one second. Okay, so look at the screen. You say, Kuref, 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 Kuref. Okay, second, Shuref, Shuref. Should have, should have, should have, should have. Ok, te reto que no digas shura, cura. Hmm. Ok, eso es muy caliche. Ojo, eh. Shura, uh, could have, could have, should have, should have, should have, would have, would have, would have. Okay, so we have could, could have, should, should have, would, would have. Now repeat with me. Could have, should have. I could have gone. I could have gone. I could have gone. I should have gone. I should have gone. I should have gone. I would 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 have gone. Mm -hmm. I would have gone. I would have gone. Okay. And the last part of this grammar context, puedes jugar con esto y usarlo en una suposición muy utilizada en buen americano. If I were you. Okay, if I were you, I would have gone. If I were you, I should have told her. If I were you, I should have told her. If I were you, I could have gone. 
Si ¿Sí se entiende, si yo, fu si yo, si yo fuese tú, hubiese <risa> ido. Si hubiese tú, podría haberlo sí. hecho. Ya, yeah? that's the context. If I were you, that's very useful. Were a boy. <risa> like the sound. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Let's see if you got it. Let's do this small exercise. Let me double check to see. So, no questions. It's clear. Okay. Ahí donde las falsas expectativas se le crea al teacher y dice, wow, qué bárbaro soy. No, papá. The, no. the negative form, you can use a contract form as well. Or not. Ah. Huh. How would you do it? Mm, and I was thinking, I was thinking about it. <laughs> Think. Yeah. No, 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 no. In negative, in negative, it's okay. not common to have it. There. I haven't. No, I. If you, oh, positive. Mm -hmm. You can also contract with the subject, right? But in, not in this case. I should have. I could have. I couldn't have. No, I couldn't have told you that. No podría haberte dicho eso. I couldn't have told you that. I shouldn't have told you that. No debía haber dicho, dicho eso, ¿eh? Qué chivo. No debía haberte dicho eso. I shouldn't have told you mm -hmm. that. Okay. Um, so let's go with exercise number six really quick. You know what? Let's do it together. This is the last part of the class before we do the attendance. Les invito a que participen en um, hacer ejercicios durante sus vacaciones. Yo sé que no está bien, vea que diga esto, porque son sus, sus vacaciones sagradas. Pero si quieren mejorar en esto. Ay, como cuando estaba en el colegio, dice Fátima. No. Ok. Acabo de regresar al pasado. If the servers had received proper training, they could have answered the customer's questions. Second example, everybody. The bartender should not have taken well, yeah. yeah. You know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, Carla Janet, is that right? Number two, is that right? What do you think? Uh, the bartender shouldn't have taken the mm -hmm. bottle of wine without permission. Mm -hmm. Bottle of wine without permission. You got it. Shouldn't have taken. Ada Susana, number three, please. The service it shouldn't, I know, it's good and improve if they have been late for the meeting. For the, the meeting. Okay. So, ya tengo mi sujeto acá. The servers okay. sería mi sujeto. Entonces, good. Solo necesito agregar. Ahora, una pregunta, Ada. ¿Esto es negativo o es positivo en la tercera oración? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Veamos lo que está entre paréntesis. En la segunda sí era negativa porque tenía el not, pero la tercera no lo tiene. So it is positive. Ok, so the servers, decíamos... Voy con el modal would, ok. Y ahora? In the. In the. In the. Correcto. Have been. Very good. Uh, the servers would have been in trouble if they had been late for the meeting. It's tro trouble. Trouble. ¿Sí? Trouble. 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 Prácticamente como okay. se lee, pero sin la U. Ok. Uh -huh. Number four, Fátima, please. You should have. You shouldn't have. Uh-huh, asked. But the manager you... for all day off. Yeah, you're sick, man. You should have asked. 
you should have asked the manager for a day off. Next, Juan, the cashier. Teacher. Hey. I have a doubt. Shouldn't have taken. The cashier should not have taken the manager. That money from the register. Not have taken that money from the register. From the register. See, sí. traten de uh, abreviar cada vez que puedan contractuar. I'm sorry. Shouldn't have taken the that money from the register. Alexander, sure. yes. What's your question? Uh, I don't remember is the verb yeah, because he's the auxiliary in the third person as well. It's has or have is. The verb, the auxiliary how is keep is keeping even when in the third person. Muy bien, good point. Si no en español porque necesito que todos entiendan eso. Aunque me estén diciendo que no tienen preguntas, yo sé que tienen muchas dudas ahorita. Y esa es una bien clave. Ok, en todo momento estamos ocupando have. The bartender should has taken. No. Borro esa regla de la tercera persona en los, pre en los presentes simples y pasados. En este caso, presente perfecto, sorry. Ya no la respeto. Digo, the bartender should have taken. He okay. should have taken. Ojo, solo en eso de los modales perfectos, ¿ok? Se obvia esa parte de las terceras personas. The cashier, the cashier should have taken. No. The cashier should have taken. I'm sorry, shouldn't have taken that money from the register. And the last one. Let me go with Fernando. Let's go with, oh, no, no, no. Give me one second. Susana, where is she? Give me one minute. Sandra, why did I call you, Susana? I'm sorry, Sandra. <laughs> okay, I should have called. Excellent. Easy, I see. Ya me convencieron, va. I should have called to let the manager. ¿Qué falta aquí? ¿Qué falta? I should have called to let the manager. Let the manager has was sick. I was sick. ¿Qué falta aquí? To let the manager. Para dejar al manager. Yo estaba enfermo. That. That. Mm. If. If. Falta algo muy importante en toda oración. Debe de estar, si no, no tiene sentido. The action. The action. Mm. I should have called to let the manager know I was sick. Manager knows? Mm, to let the know. manager know. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do examples. Check a little bit more about this topic on Google practice by the way tonight is friday 20 i mean 30th alexander de jesus sanchez soto present stay 10 minutes with me please okay. don't mind okay thank you sorry okay guys i hope you enjoyed your vacations please take care be careful don't drink too much Ada susena caceres mendoza just a reminder when when we are going to go back uh, I said uh, on the ninth right the ninth I got ninth uh, Monday el lunes 9 de agosto okay Let's thank go. you you're welcome Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano thank you Claudia Maricela Solano Crespin Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez. Present. Fátima y Efigenia López Ramos. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Estela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Happy holidays. Enjoy Thank your you. holidays, yeah. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Okay. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. 
Roberto Luis Omaño Orellana. Sandra Mabel Latín Castro. Sabrina. ¿Qué dije, Sandra? My God, what's wrong with me? Sorry. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Thank you. Good night. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Teacher. Después de Sabrina va Sandra Elizabeth Osorto. Sí, lo yo. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. I need a vacation. Okay. Good night. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Say yes. Present. Thank you. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Good night. Everyone. Good night, Alan. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Good night. Good night. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. Good night, everybody. Good night. José Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia. José Ángel Martínez Fernández. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Juan. Present. Okay. Bye. Take care. Bye. Good night. Good night. Yes, Jose Antonio, right now. Okay. Give me just a second, buddy. Take your time. I couldn't if I wanted, even if I wanted, I couldn't do it. Okay, there you go. Take care. Okay, so let's practice really quick. Just have a few okay. minutes. How did you feel the topic today? Uh, so interesting, you Sorry. know, because, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because I, um, it's like I was uh, removing. No, it's like uh, something something inside. I forgot that topic, and it's like a refresh, refresher. Come on, I had forgotten that topic. I have forgotten that topic. What about using um? What do we call this? Some adverbs like I had already. I had already. Try it. I had already. I have already. I had already forgotten. I have already forgotten about that topic. I already forgotten about, about that topic. topic. Yeah. yeah, it's very interesting. Okay, let's try it. Yeah. Tell me something that you had never, you have never done before, and you, you mm -hmm. have recently. Done. Make it up. Make it up. Done about um, in your life topic? something that uh, you you had okay. never done and you have recently tried. Tried. Try actually no, but I but I had never traveled another country. And, okay. But I would like to travel to another country when I and I try and to keep or save money and one day do it um and one day i'll do it um trying to save money how do you say para ser capaz de hacer un día able to do it to do uh -huh. it one day so i'm saving or, some money in order to, to do or to be able to be able to do, to do it. it someday Someday, okay. Okay, to so have the experience too. Excellent. Um, let me try something on you. Um, where would you have been if you wouldn't? I remember once when I was a manager, I jumped into a class and I, it was an advanced class, an advanced class. And I just jumped into the class to cover, you know, 
what is to take over a class. Yeah. Yeah. So I took yeah. over the class and I just looked at all the students and they were like, <laughs> and I wrote this on the on the board. Where would you have been if you wouldn't have been here in the class tonight? If you wouldn't have been here in the class today, right? They were like, only one of them. And you know what? He was the nerd. He was the nerd mm. of the class. He was the smartest kid, but no friends, no girlfriend. He was so shy. He was like, he was like, I would have been in my house. I was like, what? What? <laughs> Say it louder. He didn't talk anymore. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. And he was, I would have been at home. Perfect. I would have been at home. Okay. Try it. Where will okay. you have been? Where will you have been if you wouldn't have been in the class tonight? Okay. I will have um, eaten with my family um, in this small. In, in the, the what? Small, in the restaurant and inside the small mall. Mall, mall, mall. Oh, in the mall. mall. In the mall. Yeah, yeah, I heard like small. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, because it's Friday and you know what? And this is a payroll. It's a and, payroll. Uh, um, it's a. How do you say? Today. It's a, it's a, today was a payday. payday. Today was oh. payday. Today was payday. Be careful with the articles. Today was payday. Today was payday. the rat fell today the rat fell <laughs> fallen or fell no the rat fallen if you i mean the rat fell the rat fell la rata cayó right oh, has fallen <laughs> has fallen right now and that's the point for the oh, present okay. perfect remember right now the rat has fallen right now okay was payday okay today was payday okay yeah is um and i will have um walk around the mall with my daughter. Uh, I will play with her for a long time. And yeah, actually I I could I could have I could have watched I could I could have okay I could have been Watch, watching, or, or what? I mean, watching, or I could have, I could have been watch. watch. Mm. Have... See, this is being watching that's model perfect continuous. Oh, okay, that's... I could have watched uh, my favorite uh, anime. Anime, yeah, anime, mm -hmm. and or I could have spent all my night uh, with my daughter playing with her or teach teaching her about uh, English because she loved to sing in English, to love sing singing in English. Okay, singing. she loves singing. In, in English. 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 Yeah. English. English. Be careful with that English. 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 Don't forget the third person as well. She loves singing. She loves uh -huh. singing. That's esa es la parte difícil. Mira, cuando unís las dos sonidos de las S, a veces ni se siente. I, she loves singing. She loves singing. She yeah. loves singing in English. She loves singing in English. Like Which she loves singing in English. She loves, she loves singing. Come on, she, she loves, loves singing in English. She loves singing in English. There you go. Easy. You have any questions? Hey, you're mm -hmm. ready for advanced. You're really good. Now, all we're missing is just to practice a little bit more. I will yeah. Say. But sometimes I have the know. I haven't enough time to do it. Uh, I don't have enough time. 
I don't have enough time. Okay. Sometimes I don't I don't have I don't have enough time. Repeat. Sometimes I don't have enough time. Sometimes I don't have enough time. Sometimes I have no time to do it. Sometimes I have no time to do it. Two options. Okay. okay. Good job. I'll see you next time. Enjoy your okay. holidays. Okay. Thank Here. you so much. You're you welcome. Too. Bye bye.